Uh, my name is Rod Engel. I'm a biologist with the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service. I work uh, on fisheries here in the Columbia River Gorge. Uh, today we're out on the White Salmon River, uh, which is in uh, central south Washington, and Conda Dam is going to be removed in October of this year. Actually, a hole is going to be drilled in it, and uh, uh, they're going to remove the dam completely. It's been in for 100 years. And today we are capturing Lower Columbia River Fall Chinook salmon, which are also called Thule Fall Chinook, and capturing from downstream of the dam and moving them upstream of the dam so they can spawn up here. The biggest fish that we've handled this year is 111 centimeters, which is 43, 44 inches, and it was probably 40 plus pounds, and we've actually handled several that have been in the 40s and 30s, and then apparently there's this vacuum where fish should be in the low 20s and 15s, but we just don't see them this year. This year it's either they're massively huge or they're jacks. When the dam comes out, there's going to be a large sediment load that's going to move through and anything that's below the dam will be heavily impacted by that sediment release from dam deconstruction activities. And we're capturing uh, these fish, which are ESA listed as in danger, or threatened, excuse me, and moving them upstream to spawn naturally uh, in an area where they won't be impacted by the removal of Condit Dam. Uh, today we probably, this load, we probably moved almost 30. Uh, total for the project, we hope to have a minimum of 500 and uh, probably evenly split between males and females. Uh, if we capture more than 500 or have the ability to move more than 500, we will. 